the year is 1854 in London, England. Dr. John Snow has recently released his newest report on the deadly disease cholera. Apparently, it comes from dirty drinking water. I'm sorry to report, but we found cholera in your area and you're all at risk of getting it. Well, we actually think we have someone in our village who has it. Oh, show me. I do not have color. <coughs> Sorry, sir, but it appears that you do. What can I do about it? Well, we unfortunately don't have a cure yet. But with an oral rehydration solution, we can increase your chances of survival. My chances of survival? It doesn't look very good. There's a possibility you might die in the next couple hours. <coughs> there are 4 million cases a year and over 143,000 deaths. Well, let's get rid of them. No, 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 no. Cholera isn't contagious. It, it doesn't spread through the air. You can only get it by um, eating infected food or drinking infected water. Well, what now? What will happen to me? Well, since there's no cure, I mean, all we can do right now is just give you clean liquids and hope you can get through it on your own. Well, what is cholera? Cholera is an infection that's caused by the bacteria Vibrio cholerae. Basically, it releases toxins inside your body, which are then ejected through diarrhea. This can cause rapid dehydration. Well, that sounds like a terrible disease. But how does it kill people? Well, the people who are dehydrated just drink more of the infected water, which speeds up the death rate. Will we also get sick? Well, you know, it's possible. You just have to try not to drink the infected water, because that will severely increase your chances of getting infected. Thanks, Doctor. Glad for the valuable information. Oh, it's no problem. Feel free to ask any more questions and I'll be happy to help. Thank you. You're welcome. It is December in 2009. Six months ago, a young five-year-old boy came home with a headache and fever and was only sick for a few days. Little did he know that it was the start of a new pandemic. H1M1 continues to ravage the country in one of the worst pandemics of the 21st century. Doctors are scrambling to find a vaccine for this new strain of the flu virus. Edgar Hernandez, who is patient zero, was lucky that his symptoms are so tame. So far there have been an estimated 22 million cases and 4,000 deaths. Here we have some footage of Dr. Walters diagnosing a new patient. Good morning, Zach. I'm Dr. Walters. What brings you here today? Well, I've had a cough, congestion, and a, um, and a headache. <coughs> And I thought it was a cold originally, but I've been hearing a lot about the flu, so I thought I'd come in. Well, I'm glad you came in. You see, there's been a flu called H1N1 going around, and it has a lot of symptoms like fever. It's got sore throat, runny nose, body aches, chills, and fatigue. So what you're feeling may be the flu, but it's hard to tell at this point. So we'll limit your contact with other people and keep washing your hands. Since it's a virus, there's no cure, but we can prescribe some medicine to help with your symptoms. Thanks, doctor. Um, I'm not going to die, am I? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, you're young and your family history has um, no weak immune systems, but there have been millions of cases with varied results, so I'm confident you'll be fine. Just don't hesitate to come back in if things get worse, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. All right. Families are advised to wash their hands regularly, cover your cough, and avoid infected individuals. If you may have contracted H1N1, seek medical assistance immediately. Stay tuned to news channels to get the latest updates on this world epidemic. Cholera and H1N1 are both diseases that killed many people, devastating the world's population. Although both were incurable during the time, a vaccine was developed for H1N1 to build up immunity and prevent it from spreading. For cholera, infected people were forced to use oral rehydration solutions and hope they healed by themselves. While they didn't have as much technology as they did during the H1N1 breakout, the doctors during the 1854 London cholera breakout were able to identify the cause of the disease and warn people about drinking the infected water. During the H1N1 breakout, doctors had powerful technology to diagnose the problem. The two diseases have shown the world the effect a worldwide pandemic can have on a group of people.